Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natoya and on this channel we talk about whatever we want. Today we are going to be talking about thrifting and give you like a little thrift haul. A few days ago I made a short video just going to the thrift store and it did so well. I didn't, I had no idea that you guys would be interested in thrifting. So I said, oh, let's show you a full on thrift haul. Okay, let's do it. Full disclosure, I have a vintage business called Bracken Cove Co. Put it right here. You can find us on Etsy and you can find us at brackencove.com. So some of the times when I'm thrifting, I'm thrifting because I'm thrifting for resale. Times I'm thrifting for myself. I've had this business now for 13 years, so I'm not new to this. I am true to this. To be honest, we don't get a lot of our resale items from the thrift store or because the value is not there for me 90 percent of these are for resale i'll let you know what's for resale and what's for keeping let's get into it first thing is this little mirror here it is a, such a gorgeous mirror like look at the detailing on it it's quite heavy it's about say six by six it's a six by six square and i think i don't know somebody this is a gorgeous mirror. Somebody could love this. I'm trying to hide my surroundings. But yeah, that's the first thing. Also, I get on like a, I get obsessed with something and I get a lot of it. Right now I'm obsessed with gold frame, gold frame things. So the next thing I picked up was this mirror, this gold frame mirror, stunning piece. And I paid, are we telling prices? I paid about $20 for that. Typically, I wouldn't pay that much money for something like that, but I was thinking if it doesn't sell, I can keep it. Next up is this beautiful dome, like it comes apart. I put some dried oranges in there because I'm going, I'm styling it for photos. I just wanted to see how it would look. So yeah. Next up, we have this stunning MCM rug. Look at it. It is absolutely gorgeous. You can see it has like natural fibers at the bottom. Next up, we have this gorgeous mannequin um, figure and what I love about it is that it is like an extended sizing mannequin so it'd be great to take photos of things like you know jackets and whatnot it's missing the little top knob situation but that's okay we can put something else on there stunning MCM seat. It's very cute, very lovely. I especially just love this pattern. Um, I think it's wallpaper that they put on there. I just love that. I love the handles. They're made out of wood and everything about this is gorgeous. I picked up a few of these vintage um, shoe forms. This is a really good one. It's made by a company called Dax. I especially love when items have that vintage advertising. Like, look at that. That is so amazing. So that's that one. And then there is this. It says redhead on there. So this would be for a child's shoe. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then there's this one. It's a little bit worse for wear. Trying, <laughs> trying to get it all together. Oop. I think you can just close it. Does it close? When you turn the thing, it should lock it in place. No, it doesn't do anything. So there's this one here. More um, vintage advertising. 
and just absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. So all together, there's three and they all hang in different ways. There's that. I also picked up this lovely basket. It is beautiful woven basket. I'm sure this is African. Somebody use a marker to write on the back there, which I'm like, ah, but it's still a gorgeous piece. Be lovely for a fruit bowl or something like that. Right? <laughs> this isn't new. Like I didn't just pick this up. I've had this for a while, but since it's behind there, I just wanted you guys to see this beautiful picture. It's like an autumnal picture. Yeah, it's frame lovely. I also got this cute little bowl with some mushrooms on it. I thought that was really cute. It's just a cute little bowl. It looks handmade. What do you guys think? It's really fun. And that is it for things that I picked up at the thrift store and just around town for this week. And if you like videos like this, just let me know and I'll keep making them because honestly, vintage is where I make my coins. We have a lot of vintage. We have two vintage companies. So yeah, let me know.